Okay, welcome to episode 7, we're going to call it 7, of Ironmonger's Occasional and Irreverent Vlogcast. Um, we're just going to call this one Through the Breach. That's it, because Through the Breach is finally here. Um, I just gotten home recently. I was at Gen Con. I got to see a lot of you guys at Gen Con. That was that was really cool. Um, when I was on the way to Gen Con, I think it was um, Wednesday because it was the same day that my alternator died and had to be replaced. Um, poor tense much. Uh, through the breach arrived, and so now that I'm here, uh, I've been kind of like uh, getting resettled back in. It was like a 10-day trip, um, and so I'm going to do a quick little unboxing. Now, a lot of you have probably seen this already, especially if you're a backer of, of Through the Breach Kickstarter, um, but I just wanted to give like a, an idea of what exactly arrived at the uh, the gaming room level. I pledged the game room level. There were a number of kind of like extras, and there were a few things that just um, still didn't arrive, but we'll talk about that in a minute. This is going to be a pretty short vlogcast. Um, I just wanted to get some of my thoughts and my ideas down um, while they were still fresh in my mind and to show you everything that you got at the gaming room level um, before it's open, pretty much. So so here we go. Okay, this is just kind of like an overview of all the stuff. I know, it's pretty impressive. It's big piles of things. Uh, everybody likes big piles of miniatures and books, right? So, as you can see over here, um, start out, I've already cracked these open. This is the, um, I believe that this is the limited edition Through the Breach Fate deck. Um, the artwork is really neat. It kind of reminds me of a cross between the retro deck and the, um, and like a, a regular kind of art deck with a little bit of a tarot theme uh, thrown in there. Let's see if I can crack this open real quick. One-handed. One of the things that I noticed about these that I didn't really notice when I got the retro deck is that they're incredibly slippery. The cards are very slippery, so you're going to have to be careful. This will probably end up with uh, me playing 52 card pickup. You have to be very careful because they will just slide everywhere if you're not. Okay, so here's, oops, there we go. Slippery, slippery. Well, okay, so here's what the actual cards look like. Um, I really like them. See what I kind of mean? A little retro-esque. They look like playing cards. Um, the backs all have the, uh, the through the breach, um, <clears throat> we'll say victim or the, the gunned man on the back there. Um, a lot of the artwork is really neat. It's it's all that uh, artwork that started around um, Twisting Fates. So it's the kind of the new art department artwork. Um, lovely artwork, nice, nice cards. And then this is the, uh, I think this is the Red Joker. Looks pretty menacing. Um, we got, uh, what is it, Three of Crows. And then we've got an Eight of Masks, um, the McMorning-esque protagonist, I'm assuming. Okay, and so this is what the uh, the limited ed, you get to see the actual sheen that's on these cards that makes them so slick. Um, well, I won't bother picking up all those cards later, but uh, the Arcane deck, I'm not going to open it up because it's just as slick and I'm assuming that I'll get um, some more cards falling everywhere. It is really neat as well. You get to see kind of like the symbols. My camera sucks on the back there. No, that's not Rocket. That's just a rat. Um, but really neat. Now, apparently I'm supposed to have, due to a stretch goal, I believe, I'm supposed to have one more of these, one more of the, uh, the Through the Breach Fate decks coming with my hardcover book. Um, I just reread through update 63 from Through the Breach, um, and they said that, you know, it's on its way. If you only receive one deck, you'll receive the other one with the hardback book. We don't know when the hardbound book and that other deck will come, but we'll keep you updated. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how updated they keep us. Um, all in all, 
I'm pretty happy they were very smart because this was just a bonus they threw in and the, the now, well, I don't want to say infamous, I'll just say famous, the now famous thank you for your patience through the breach sticker on my free box of Mother of Monsters, Lilith. Um, I don't play Neverborn. I don't like Neverborn. I have no interest in Neverborn, but you know, it's a pretty good value for just a, an extra, sorry we, you know, fucked up so badly over the last year. So that was nice that they gave us um, some kind of reward for, uh, for waiting and for, you know, all the silence and for all the beta tests and uh, if if this had been it's funny because of just of the factions I play if this had been like the new Sommertief Jones um, box I would I would be ecstatic um, I picked up the Fry Corps um, I picked up the Hired Guns I think it's called the the Von Shields um, plastic box at um, at uh, Gen Con, and I'll be doing a uh, another episode, kind of uh, a quick little mini vlog about that. But I would be ecstatic if it was those. Um, this is nice way of saying we're sorry. Um, I guess I could have said I would have liked more, but you know, c'est la vie. Um, still pretty good. Uh, we've got one person in our group. We've got two people in our group that are just starting to play Neverborn, so th this will probably come in handy um, regardless. Um, okay, so this was another one of the stretch goals. This was another one of the stretch goals, the hanging tree. The hanging tree, which was, I, I wanna say it was a Gen Con exclusive last year, but I can't, I can't really remember. Um, there's all the, uh, there's all the contents right there. Now, we're still trying to decide exactly what we're going to do. Um, I've heard horror stories about the tree itself, about putting it together and the plastics and the, the mold lines. Whoops. Um, I am a competent hobbyist modeler, so I'm pretty sure that I can fix any issues, kind of like uh, I've seen some people do with Hungering Darkness. We'll, we'll see how it is. I don't know what I'm going to do with the actual hanged people. There's two Nathans and, and two Eric's. Um, we just picked up, I believe it's from um, Tectonic Crafts, we picked up some gallows for Wild West Exodus and Malifaux, and I mean, in a pinch, they could even be used in War Machine Hordes, good, good, cool piece of terrain. Um, I kind of want to put some Eric's and Nathan's on the gallows, so we'll see, it's still cool. Haven't cracked it open yet. Um, that's going to be fun. Fun. All right. Um, this is the... Now nah, we'll skip that for right now. We'll go over here. Um, this is one of the reasons I pledged. One of the reasons I pledged was to get the Hannah. Because I play Frycore. Um, Frycore. Uh, I wanted the Hannah. Hannah's great in the game. And it's a really good looking mini. Looks like it comes with her cards as well as uh, her upgrades. Yeah. Uh, when I was at Gen Con, I restrained myself, and this was another kind of like little niggling point that I had, that um, they actually had the regular Hannah sculpt there, where she's kind of leaning out. I, I think I like this sculpt better. She looks more like, you know, she looks more like I'm a librarian kind of look instead of the, the more vicious normal sculpt. Um, I'll probably pick up the normal sculpt, but the eventually. The alt sculpt I really like. Um, I am just about ready to, I don't think I can contain myself anymore. I'm, I'm just going to start putting this one together. Not on camera. Um, I, I'm very excited to see more one. There we go. I'm very excited to uh, get her together and to start playing some Malifus with the actual miniature instead of a flipping Warjack standing in as a proxy. So, let's see what the sprue looks like real quick. It's just a pretty, pretty piece of card. So it looks like, and I don't know if this is going to be the standard from now on. Maybe cut down costs or shipping weight, something like that. We've seen a lot of um, bags. We've seen a lot of bags of stuff, and I don't know if that's just going to be for limited edition miniatures. But the miniatures, some of them have not been in boxes. They've just been in bags. Um, like this one, so we'll see, I'll get a little bit of 
this is going to be absolutely bollocks, but there's a sprue. She comes on single sprue. Now, again, last year, I think it was, again, at Gen Con, um, this has pretty much already been spoiled, but, um, yeah, there she is. There's my lovely Hana. I like it a lot. All right, here, let's, before this turns into an epic multi-part vlog. Okay, um, here is another, I think this was from the early pledge. I got the Santana Ortega. Um, Santana Ortega is a lovely sculpt. I really like it. Uh, I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, probably just paint her up. Um, yeah, it's nice. I like it. Then we've got uh, Mysterious. Mysterious again in this kind of, it's not a box. It's just a, a bag. Mysterious is another, uh, got a lot of reflection there. Everybody's seen Mysterious. Um, basically, I think that she functions as like a death marshal. She's really neat. Um, I'll be doing something interesting with her. Um, I don't have it here. I've already got it uh, put together and, uh, and a, a Christian sculpted, another one of our gamers sculpted a nice little bow on the Gen Con exclusive called Miss Eerie. Misery, Miss Eerie, um, which is a Teddy, kind of like a creepy stitch together. Teddy um, was not technically part of Through the Breach. Um, yeah, when I talk about the Fright Core, I may talk about Miss Eerie. Um, here are the cards that actually came with the exclusives. They threw the cards in there. So we've got the Santana Ortega, we've got Hanged Eric, we've got Hanged Nathan, and we've got Mysterious. Um, these were just free floating. These were just kind of like in in the the box that all the stuff came in. I did not actually see the box itself. Um, I was told it was big. So we got two of these, um, the multi-pose characters. I believe that there is a, again, you see it's, it's kind of like vacuum sealed. Um, not in a box, the the multi-pose male and multi-pose female are in here, which is kind of interesting. For some reason, I thought that I was going to get another one of these through a stretch goal, but I, I must have just miscalculated. Um, uh, it looks like two sprues, and this is all just for the, the role-playing game, the RPG Through the Breach. I will be using these for everything from Ronin to Desperate Mercs, Convict Gunslingers, um, just and everything basically. Um, we've seen it through one of the updates, we've seen what the sprues actually look like so I won't um, belabor the point. Each one of the sprues can apparently make a lot of miniatures. Uh, I think somebody said something like um, you can make 12 with the sprues, and, and here's the bases, one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yep. Um, so, I'll, I'll have to kick that around a bit more and, and see, maybe it was six male and six female, but, uh, oh, look at that, thanks to all of our Kickstarter backers, that's nice. I'll just throw this over here real quick, um, along with the foam. I will not open the second one because it's just the same thing again. Um, yeah. Here's what the bloody buggery. Okay, not bloody buggery. Here's what the sprues look like. This looks like the male. I cannot zoom because I don't have a good enough camera yet, but it uh, looks like Gatling guns and various knives. There's a lot of uh, legs, single legs, multi-legs, outlaws and renegades and cutthroats and all kinds, all that good stuff, right? And then we've got um, a female version. Here's the female. Looks like we've got... Uh, like a, a dress with a bustle there, and we've got a trench. I love me my dusters, right? And then we've got uh, legs, we've got mechanical legs, we've got, man, 
these sprues are literally, there's parasol, these sprues are literally just like jam packed with all kinds of goodness. Um, this will keep us, uh, this will keep us busy for a long, long time. Really good quality sprues, really happy with those, really impressed. All right, here's the books. Um, if you are a Kickstarting backer or you know anybody who is, I'm sure that you've, you've seen the, the just plethora of PDFs for all the For all the kick, for all the uh, the beta tests, all those beta tests, like eight beta tests. God, um, here's the actual book. This is the soft, soft cover. Um, again, artwork looks great. You know, the rule system looks like a fun rule system. I've actually been waiting for, unlike a lot of people that kickstarted, I've been waiting for my physical copies before I um, I try to run any kind of a campaign. So. Here they are, Faded Almanac, and then we've got some really nice artwork, make fate your weapon. And then here's the Fate Masters Almanac, again, great artwork, I, I just love, uh, I just love the direction that um, Weird went in between Twisting Fates and um, Storm, of, Storm of Swords. Um, just is just so great. What is that? A riot breaker? Give me that as a miniature in Malifaux. Warden, Watcher, Death Marsh. I mean, it's just you know, great, real high production quality. Um, looks really nice. This looks like the Fate Masters kit. This is a, it's going to be a screen. I'm assuming we're already getting pretty pretty far advanced into the video here so if I can't open this soon I'm not going to bother I would use my vape to open it but it has no real sharp corner well we'll try oops but not making anybody seasick There we go. There we go. All right. So, just cracked open real quick. Um, the screen, it's a hard, hardback screen. Ugh. There we go. All right, let's see what it uh, looks like through the breach. We've got a bunch of character sheets, it looks like. We've got, um, this is the actual screen itself. It is. Woohoo! Love me my uh, role playing screens. Mm, map of Malifu's. And then we've got uh, basically just a bunch of uh, bunch of character sheets. Um, so that's it. Character sheets and uh, a screen. All right. Well. Still looks pretty good. Still a fan. So this is just kind of like a, I'd say like a slip cover. All right, last thing I'm going to bore you guys with. This came because of my pledge level. This is going to be the Stitch Together doll. Um, I gotta bother ripping. Love it. Okay. Yes. Oh, creepiness. Oh, I got a good one. They're all different. They're all unique. I got a good one, so I'm pretty happy with that. And this says, Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a genuine and 100% authentic souvenir of the distant and mysterious buyer outside of Malifo City. Professor Knoxwire Burfs, Wicked Voodoo Doll. 
This entirely handcrafted doll has been acquired at no small amount of personal risk to the professor himself from a kind of practitioner of the holistic healing arts. <laughs> That's pretty pretty neat. Um, I won't read all through it, but you get to see the actual uh, proprietor, the strange and unusual. You get to see the the actual um, authentic authentication ticket, as though it were from Malifaux, and uh, neat, neat little doll, got s uh, little beads and skulls, and sounds like a bell, yes. Um, well, the neck has quite a bit of stuff around it. What we were originally planning to do was to put it on a noose and to hang it up in the gaming room. We'll see how that goes. Um, neat, I like it. It's creepy. It's adorable. All right, so. Thanks for watching. I know that this was kind of a, a longer vlog, but you know, there was just so much stuff to get through. Um, you know, keep uh, watching out for more vlog episodes. Um, visit uh, SB Wargaming forums. Um, visit our blog um, and uh, check us out on Malifaux and, and uh, on Malifaux.com, weird.com. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you later.